What up, people? Thanks for coming back to the channel. It's been a minute, but I'm Rob, and this is still Straight Bearded. So today in Straight Bearded, I'm bringing you, I guess what you can call more of a comparison than a review. I've got my hands on the Kushel Bar from Jeff Chastain. Uh, he sent this to me to review. Uh, and after using it for a while, I've learned some things, and I wanted to, uh, to touch on those with you so that way you're better prepared uh, to know exactly where you stand. Hang tight. We'll be right back with you. All right. So like I said, this is going to be more of a comparison than a review. There's plenty of uh, full-fledged reviews out there on the Kushal Bar. Uh, but I've discovered a few things that I just wanted to go over with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get to that. So apologies, but there's a purpose. I'm coming to you with complete and total 100% bed beard. So I want to go ahead and get started first by just putting some oil in. But there's two there's there's two uh, two products that I want to compare. And I'll get to those in just a second. Just put a little bit in my beard as a heat shield. Hadn't even run a brush through it yet. I probably should have done that first. But we'll get this in and on. All right. So I've been using another straightener for a while that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. We have one right here in town, but you can also get it online. Uh, I want to compare these two. So we have the Kushel Bar from Jeff Chastain, and I have what is called the Ion, or it's from Ion, but it's a heat straightener brush. And if you can see, they're virtually the same. It seems like the Ion may have just a little bit more reach as far as brush, brush and tines. Uh, but these are what we're comparing. They're pretty doggone close. The, uh, the heat sink in those are virtually the same length. What you see standing on top is, uh, is just extra bristles that don't provide heat, but their heat sink appears to be about the same. So I wanna compare these two. Now, mind you, the Kushel Bar is $100 uh, from, from Jeff Chastain or Amazon actually, and the Ion from Sally Beauty Supply, I'll link it below, is 25 bucks. So virtually the same, a couple of differences I'll go over, is that, we'll talk about the Ion first. So the Ion has that, that little swivel uh, power adapter that goes into the unit itself. I have two heat settings, a low and a high. The low is at 375 degrees, and the high is at or around 400 degrees. Now, the Kushel bar is no extra settings or anything. It's at 374 degrees. So I'm going to operate this one on low and this one just on 374, 375, virtually the same. So I think it's safe for me to tell you that since I've been using these a little bit more than I have lately, I've noticed a lot more hair loss, a lot more shedding of my beard. And I'm attributing that not to the Kushel bar specifically, but just using that kind of heat for that kind of time. Uh, I think this is gonna be the very last time for this, this video is gonna be the very last time that I ever straighten my beard ever. I'm gonna go back to solely doing uh, either a natural beard or uh, just a warm hair dryer. It seems a lot safer to me and I have a lot less hair loss, less shedding. So anyhow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Kushel Bar on this side of my beard and the Ion from Sally's Beauty Supply on this side of my beard. I'm going to try to keep it as, as, as same and as even as possible uh, to try to give you an idea of a before and after. Right side or left side to you, right side. Uh, so let's go ahead and get cranking. I'm just going to do a couple passes and I'll try to count them out. Uh, so that way I'm making sure I'm going the same speed and giving the same attention to both sides. So we're going to go ahead and do this. This is going to be one pass light pressure, two passes light pressure. Three, four, got a little bit of crackling. Five, and we'll go back again. One, two, three, four, five. We'll leave the mustache out of it for this, for this purpose. Now we're gonna use the ion on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, back to one, 
two, three, four, five. Now I noticed that when I'm using these, um, it doesn't feel like it's getting a, an entire bite on my hair. It's just straightening the, just the outside hair. So what I normally do is go underneath and apply pressure and I'll show you how I've been doing that. Uh, so I'll do one and I'm holding that, trying not to burn myself. Two, you can see that. Three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. Mm, a little bit of burn on that one. Touching this one's a lot easier to get burnt on the on the coils itself. That was one, two, three, four, five. All right, now I think that's probably enough for now. Let's see what we look like. So a couple things, and I'll probably give each, each a pass, just one more pass of maybe four. One, two, if you notice I'm not getting a full bite on that hair it's just getting the outside so there's four on that side and one two three four just a very basic quick straightening we try to comb it evenly boy those things put out some heat so if you see if you can see real close you can kind of judge for yourself uh, but I can see in the mirror that it's virtually, virtually the same performance. Whether it be from a $100 cushion bar or a $25 from Sally's Beauty Supply. Now mind you, I just went quick passes. We kept everything even, Steven. So the cushion bar, I have a hard time burning myself touching the, uh, the tines, the heat, the heat elements. But the back of this thing is super, like super hot. I can't hold it more than a second or two. Um, another positive about this is that it has an auto shut off feature, which is really, really important to me. Uh, that's really nice to have, but we don't have the swivel on the cushion bar. All right, so we have auto shut off, great point. We have tines aren't hot. Um, and the negatives are that we, uh, the back is extremely hot and we don't have the swivel power, ad power adapter. 25 bucks, if you touch these tines, or if you get your hands in there, chances are you will burn yourself. Um, we do have swivel, and we have an off, on, or excuse me, an off, low, and high. Uh, and then that low is right in keeping with, with the temperature that cushion bar runs theirs, uh, but it does not have an auto shut off feature. Uh, I do have a nice handle here that stays cool. It's completely cool. The back of this uh, is cool. The only thing that's hot is the tine. So, if you want more information about Cushion Bar itself, you can go to their website and check it out. Um, if you want to know specifics, definitely can go to their, their website or their page, or even on Amazon can give you plenty of information. Uh, but I, for me, personally, out of these two, I think it's kind of clear that the Ion, for the money, is the better deal for the performance. Now, mind you, with a longer beard, I really don't feel like that it's getting, either one of them is getting deep down into my beard. Uh, so neither one of them are really going to work for me, even if I didn't have hair loss, uh, if I wasn't experiencing that heat caused hair loss, neither one's going to work for me. I'd need something with some longer tines. But that being said, I've learned my lesson about heat brushes and I'm pretty much done with them just for what they're doing for me. Please try them for yourself. Another thing that I've noticed about uh, using these heat brushes is if you can see, I hope you can, I have straggly hairs that kind of just will not tame. Normally when you straighten, you look straightened. It's more of an unnatural appearance. If I were to spend a little bit more time on this, it looks really unnatural. Hair dryer works really good for me. Anyhow, I wanted to get that information to you. Uh, I wanted to let you know about the Kusha Bar and a cheaper alternative. That's all I've got for you guys right now. Y'all boys take care of your beards. Have a great one.